I'm a good musician. I'm an amateur musician. I'm an amateur pre tree planter. I'm an amateur arborist. But you know, the word amateur comes from the French word amour, which is to love something that you do. So I try to keep that kind of consistent. And what I'm doing right now. So I, I just basically had a song that I wrote kind of when we first started talking about this a couple of years ago for uh, this project called The Wolf's Tale. Um, it's funny, I, I've been reading a lot about like logging exploration in Canada in general and the United States and how it's kind of been proliferated. And Saskatchewan is actually pretty good off at this point, in my opinion. Like We haven't been so, so badly touched by it. But I think that's why it's all more, the more important to like try to maintain some of what we have because a lot of the rest of Canada doesn't have any of its original forest. Anyways, like my guitar's in tune. I'm just gonna sing the song here up for the whole still. I hope you guys like it. Well, this looks really funny. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need help? I don't know. Can you hear me?
I was sitting at the kitchen table at my place, telling my son about these trees in the forest, and I was going on and on, which I can do. And all of us sitting at the table, I think it was about half an hour, and then I finally stopped talking. All of them looked at me and said, Grandpa, I'd like to help. And so, what can I do? So I said, one thing, we could come here. And so this is my granddaughter. Hi, everybody. First, I'd like to point out that um, to help save trees, I've used poop paper, odorless, and I'm using elephant poop to make this paper to help help save the trees. Hi, everybody. My name is Olive, and I'm 10 years old. I don't know about you, but I care a whole lot about trees and the forest. I really appreciate having the privilege to take part in this very important event today. I have chosen a few of many, many points why we should save the forest. First, community. Second, how my heart feels as I approach the forest. Thoughts on the Saskatchewan flag and reciprocity. Community. The reason that places like Nest Creek are so good at bringing people together is because the natural beauty and specialness of being in in an un, is of um, of being in a naturally incredible environment together. My heart as I reach the forest. Me and my family spend as much time as we can canoeing, camping, and enjoying the wonderful uncut forest for my whole life of ten years. And I hope that future kids, like seven generations into the future or more. <laughs> will have that same experience. Ever looked slowly at the Saskatchewan flag? Well, you'll notice that half is that half is yellow and half and half is green. The green half, in my mind, represents the forest. And some people say that Saskatchewan is all prairie, but they miss a whole world. The forest creates habitats, biodiversity, and well, balance. Fourth, reciprocity. Reciprocity is basically a give and take. Example, we give carbon dioxide to the trees and they give us oxygen, but lately more, more taking ha has been done than giving. That's why this event is very important to work together, not just think, not just ponder, but to help do something. In conclusion, I'd like to mention that the lumber guys say, I'm only cutting down some of the, of the forest, but the impact is much more devastating. Trees help each other to stand strong. Like us people, we are better together. Do you want a brief explanation of an acorn? Yes. Yeah. So, in a nutshell, it's an oak tree. <laughs> They're logging today. When I come to this meeting today, they're logging. It's April, the middle of April, and they're logging. And like, there's no, there's no uh, consideration for the animals, for the water, for the for the soil, because the rotting that they would be making right now is just would be horrific. And uh, I mean, their road. I watched, looked at their road where they're going off the highway where they're logging. They have to walk in there. They literally, they can't drive in there because it's all water. Because it's springtime. You shouldn't be logging in the spring. But forestry has got a wide open license to do whatever they want to do. And there's, I don't know what, I don't know. But when I, when I agreed to come down and talk with them, and talk with you guys, I, like I told John, I said, I said, we need, the people of southern Saskatchewan to realize what's going on in northern Saskatchewan. Like, we're not going to have a boreal forest. And to me, the boreal forest of Saskatchewan is a national treasure. And we are stripping it for cheap wood. We don't pay stumpage. The logging companies pay nothing for stumpage. All this wood is being cut for nothing. Like, we're like Walmart. We're giving our wood away. And for and it's way more valuable for to me and to us than that. And uh, like when I was coming down here, I was 
thinking about what I wanted to say. And uh, my son, he's, he's, he reminds me of me when I was younger. He's, he's, uh, he loves talking about what we should do for the land and how we got to look after things. And uh, I was always taught by my dad and by everybody else. I just learned this from all my elders, is that when, when you go out and use the forest, you leave it as you found it. And uh, I know there's a way that we can still log, but, I, but nobody's interested in the way that it needs to be logged. Like we shouldn't be logging at all in summertime. That's the first thing that should happen. And uh, but I mean, nobody wants to hear that. Logging companies want to log 12, 24 seven. They don't want to stop because they're making money. They're becoming millionaires, and they don't care how they're doing it. So, and we're just in the road. Us locals in northern Saskatchewan are just in the road. And the harder they make it on us, they're just hoping that we leave. We had one guy even say they should use Dory Lake as a nuclear waste dump so that they could get rid of the locals and then everything would be easy. I've been living up in the, up in the bush, up in the Boar Forest um, for the last while. And uh, I stepped back from frontline activist work for a while because I got very ill. And uh, I felt that I needed to just stay home and work on nurturing my community and connecting with the land that, that I love. Um, and it's wonderful, wonderful to do that and try to live as lightly as I can on the land. I live in a little, in a little cabin in the bush. I've been living off grid for the last 35 years and growing a big garden. And, uh, and, uh, and it's great. And it makes me really happy and I just wish everybody could do that. So this song I'm going to sing, it's, uh, it's one that I wrote <clears throat> quite a long time ago. And uh, it's called The Forest. And it has a chorus. And I invite you to sing the chorus with me. So the chorus goes like this. The earth is wise, her balance true. She always knows just what to do. The forest, the forest community of living ones. More than just the trees that grow, a community of Bring the forest back. The forest 
those who stand their roots so deep within the ground.